Hello friends, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we will learn how to calculate a person's age in Excel. So let's move to Excel window and see how it works. Here you can see that I have already entered date of birth, today date and calculated the age basis the date of birth and today date entered in cell C4 and cell C6. So basis the data entered, the age of the in age of an individual is 30 years, 6 months and 5 days. So calculating a person's age is a little bit tricky. The involvement of current year, current date, leap and non-leap years makes the cal age calculation little bit tricky and complex and it is not possible to calculate the age with simple excel formula though there are several functions like int, int with year fraction and others to calculate the age of an individual however calc accuracy is always a challenge so in this tutorial we will use date diff function to calculate the age of a person so date diff function was introduced by old lotus123 spreadsheet program and excel included this function for compatibility purposes this function is not documented in excel help system and you will not get any help when you enter the, this formula in excel so let's uh, see you whenever we enter a formula in excel then whether excel provides help on this formula or not So here you can see that uh, Excel is not providing any short description on date diff function and also does not provide any uh, the required parameters uh, for this function. Usually whenever we enter any formula that is documented in Excel help system, it provides the short description and also provides the number of parameters required for this function. But for date diff function, this is not available. To get the help on date diff functions, you need to refer the Microsoft Office website where you can get the details about date diff functions. I will provide the link of this uh, uh, website in description box. You can go through that and learn more about this date diff functions. Here date diff functions, the short description of date diff function is the date diff function calculates the number of days, months or years between two dates. Right? And the syntax of date diff function is like start date, end date, and unit. So basically, there are three type, uh, three types of parameters required. One is start date, second one is end date, and the last one is unit. In our case, start date will be the date of birth of an in individual, and the end date will be the today date. So remember, whenever uh, you are passing a start date, end date, then start date must be lower than the end date otherwise date diff function will return hash num error you can see that a short description is available here right and the third parameter is unit so there are several uh, options available for third parameter that is unit like y m d m d y m and y d in our case, we are going to use Y, M, D and Y, M. So let's move to Excel and see uh, and enter this formula to calculate the age of an individual. So here you can see that uh, in age, calc age calculation like cell C8, I already applied the date functions to calculate the age of persons. And here I have used three date diff function. First one is for years, second one is for months, and third one is for days. Right? So you can see that in all these three formulas, right, C4 and C6 are common in all these formula, all these functions. But the last parameter that is unit is different in each and every functions. Here y means the the formula will return complete years and ym means the formula will return complete months and md means uh, the function will uh, give uh, output as a uh, days only so it will ignore uh, the month part and year part okay so let's apply this formula separately for each like years months and days and see the calculation how it works 
right so first of all we need to calculate years then months and then days for years like let's enter date diff function and as you know the first parameter for this function is a start date like the date of birth end date that is today date and the unit so here we are going to calculate the years then we need to pass y as third parameter and what it will do it will do uh, like it will exclude uh, the month and days part and only provide the complete years so here you can see that uh, the age of the person is 30 years 6 months and 5 days so uh, when we are passing uh, y as a parameter third parameter then it will uh, ignore uh, the month and days part and only returns the years part that is complete years okay let's enter the formula uh, to calculate the months so again the same formula date diff and the start date is date of birth end date is today date and the third uh, parameter is ym so what will what it will do it will do like it will uh, return the complete months and it will return the com uh, it will exclude the uh, complete years and days part from this calculation so here you can see that it provides a 6 so it has uh, ignored the years parts as well as days part and only provides the months part okay let's enter the formula for date uh, days calculation then again date date function then start date end date and the last parameter that is unit is md so md wh what it will do it will uh, ignore the complete month and complete years and only provides the days okay so here we are getting output as 5 so you can you can relate uh, this output with the single formula like uh, 30 years 6 months and 5 days okay so these are the individual formulas what we need to do we need to combine all this formula in a single say to uh, like get the output as available in cell C8 okay so let's uh, remove the calculation and apply the same formula so again date div and start date comma end date and the third is y okay so bracket closed ampersand yes space again ampersand the second formula is for month so date div start date end date and ym again ampersand space months ampersand and the third formula is for days so again date div start date end date and md and again down days so we have entered all the three formulas which is uh, which are required to show the uh, is in a single say so let's enter and you can see that uh, uh, the age of the individual is 30 years 6 months and 5 days so it's very easy and I will also I will always recommend you to use this formula because this formula is more accurate than other methods okay and if you want to get the help then you can also refer this uh, support.office.com website where date the functions uh, description available right I will provide the link in description box and also upload this uh, spreadsheet and share the link in description box as well so thank you for watching uh, please like subscribe share and comment have a good day bye bye thanks